hello everyone, this is one of my final few videos on the Guild Wars beta and it's Sunday, oh no, it's almost over. Um, well anyway, yeah, this, this video is on the achievement system, which is uh, very similar to other games, um, but you do have something that's slightly different, which is the daily um, and monthly achievements. Uh, so obviously you can see the daily one's pretty simple. There are a couple, there are three tiers to this, and you know how many kills required will go up, and you'll get achievement points for that. Um, same with the variety of enemies you kill, and gathering, and events. Um, most of the things you'll probably be doing in the game anyway, so you'll just earn up a few points. As you can see, I got 120. Um, the monthly ones um, in the beta, this one will probably be a bit better to get because obviously by the time the beta is over you would have, you know, this isn't going to reset until the next beta. Um, but as you can see that's uh, World Invaders killed, monthly World Views World Player kills. Okay, um, monthly event participation, wow, <laughs> I've taken part in 36 events. And this is just within this beta I'm fairly sure because it couldn't have been the last one. It might have been. Now I think about it. Um, oh yes, because of the Monday stress test. Um, monthly, monthly salvage kit usage. As you can see, I'm a lazy hand bone and I don't use um, salvage kits too much. Not in the beta anyway. There's not much point in gathering stuff. Um, EXP survivor. Uh, slight homage to the original game. But probably easy to get because I imagine you can actually die um, there's 80 levels, I'm sure you can get that much within 80 levels, you know. Um, the whole four tiers, that is. Okay, then there's the Slayer section. Now this is over the whole character's lifetime, or it should be at least. Um, and as far as I know, these actually all go over to other characters as well. They should at least. Um, so as you can see, I killed 40 centaurs, drakes, killed 34, harpies 4, harpies are annoying. Um, Spider Slayer, 43. Indiscriminate Slayer. If small things were meant to live, they'd have bigger teeth or faster feet. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, 50 kills in that, I guess I'm a douchebag. Um, Bandit Slayer, killed a lot of those. Scale Slayer. It's not polite to eat the dead. Uh, Alright. Um, <laughs> Bat Slayer, only two. Um, you get the idea. There's there's a lot of different um, variations on this, which you could farm up if you wanted for the points and the tiers. I suppose you never have to do it again, as is the tradition of achievements. You know, um, stating the obvious once again. Um, yeah, there's a hell of a lot of these. You won't get bored when it comes to the achievements, and they're fairly. I wouldn't say easy, but they're not like impossible to do unless you know a bunch of people, you know? You can get all of these on your own. It would just take a long time. Okay, the next is the hero slot. Um, skillful. Your range of skills is quite impressive. Okay. I assume that means buy all of your skills. Um, which is fair enough. Let's give that a test actually. Slot skill. I've got two extra points. So what am I at on that achievement? 11. Uh, let's buy Arcane Blast. Oh, doesn't count for those. Hmm. Oh, I see weapon skills. Okay, my bad. Yeah, so learn all the weapon skills. That will take a little while. Not too long if you're a lower level. Um. Ah, oh, apologies for the um, jump cut there, I suppose you could call it. Uh, you'll never guess who interrupted. Yeah. Gonna have to make some sort of drinking game about how he interrupts every single recording. Oh, um, local hero, what's that all about? A true hero takes time from slaying dragons to help out the common folk as well. Okay, that's the heart quests. Okay, that's fine. 33, I thought I'd done more than that. Uh, emergency response hero. 
always willing to lend a hand or sword to the common good. You go where the action is. Events. Okay, that's fair enough. Been there, done that. Seeking Zaitan's corruption in every corner of Tyria. Most complete character. 3%. Hmm. Okay then. Um, crime and punishment. Story achievement. Through your through your valour and thirst for justice, you have earned the trust of Logan Thackeray. Ah. Okay, so... Um, I um, remembering what I said earlier, you share these achievements through all of your characters, so um, I think you'll be able to get all of these, assuming you've got a character of every different race. Um, ooh, there's one I've completed. Rising to the challenge. Today you've proved your strength, stopping a growing threat to the norm. I don't know. I guess that was my very first mission. One of the range, so that's obviously going to be the As Asura one. Hmm, okay. So you get the idea for these. These are story achievements um, and event slash quest kind of achievements. Um, oh, look at that. They've even got one for the hint menu. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess I could get an easy achievement out of that. Alright, PvP Conqueror. Um, this one's fairly self-explanatory. Kills in regular PvP, kills in um, PvP battles, kills in tournaments, uh, tournament match wins, 100 kills in WVW, um, and supplies used in WVW. Yeah, that's all self-explanatory. Tradesman. Items salvaged. Um, ooh, this one isn't... Prerequisite, Salvage Master. Okay, so you have to get somewhere with that one. That's... Hmm. The world is composed of certain base elements. Okay. Hunter-Gatherer. No stone left unturned. No tree left unpruned. Okay. Um, 61 successful gatherings. That will not take very long. Um, to finish that, I imagine. Combat mechanic. 10 up... Sorry, 0 upgrades applied. Never satisfied with the status quo, you have upgraded your your upgrading activity. <laughs> Duh. Okay. Tinkerer, two helms really are better than one. Um, items transmute, ah yes. You might be doing quite a bit of that, because some of the early gear, at least what I've experienced, looks a bit naff. Um, and at the moment, look at me, I'm an elementalist and I look like some sort of priest class. I don't mind this gear actually, in fact I was happy to get into it because there was these awful, awful trousers that my character was wearing that I transmogged and then I got these so I didn't need to. Um, so, yay. Anyway, um, Mystic Forge Master. Contri <laughs> your contributions to bad science are exceptional. Haven't done any of that yet. Uh, I might get a video in for that. I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, it's a bit self-explanatory, you don't really need me to tell you about it. Master Crafter. Um, crafting Discipline Master Zero. Oops. Armsmith. Okay, these for all the professions as well then, as well as selling stuff. Um, of which, by the way, you can join every single profession. You can only be in two of them at a time, however, you can drop one and keep your level in that one, so you can master every profession if you wish on one character, although it would take a little while, I imagine. Trade supplier. Everyone knows you have the most you have the most of the best. Or you're the best at having mostly everything. Copper earned I assumed from <coughs> uh, selling items to players through the um, the whatchamacallit, the, the equivalent of the auction house. Um, gold hoarder. Money is truly no object for you. Most coins in bank. <laughs> Title gold. Fantastic. Explorer. Again, very self-explanatory. Oh, look at that. I've almost got Crichton Explorer. Um, at least at tier one. Um, Shiver Peaks Explorer. Yeah. It's fairly self-explanatory. You can even get one for the mist. Uh, dungeon Explorer. 
demon grub pits. Puzzle achievements. Hmm. Uh, now this, someone was asking me actually where the Greenwich Gamble thing was. I was in, um, oh, something, Desea Plateau, I think it's called. Just above the char starting area. And someone was asking around in world chat, or map chat I suppose, um, where the Greenwich Gamble was. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what you mean. They were like, it's a puzzle achievement. I was like, what, what the hell are you on about? So I guess I know what that is now. Um, I don't really know much about those, to be honest, though. Um, and that seems to be the rest of the achievements. Fashion. The Serum Speciality Armors. Uh, okay. Child Speciality Armors. Human, all the Speciality Armors. Okay. Don't really know what they are, either. Hmm. Uh, weapon Master. I, you can all assume what this is. Master of Overkill. This is the amount of damage you can do in one hit. Um, you'll get most of this by actually accidentally killing critters, I find. Um, <laughs> like a bunny or something, you accidentally crush to pieces with, um, like a giant ice ball or something. Staff Master. Okay, killing blows while using a staff, killing blows while using a sword. You'll notice I've got quite a bit in that, it's because I was on my warrior, um, and I leveled him a little bit, not too much. Axe, I don't know where I got two kills. Oh, I know where I got two kills. Okay, I summoned my fire axe in the first layer. Longbow, that'll be from my um, ranger. There we go. Um, scepter, that was from me originally before I got my staff. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Great sword. That's again from the warrior. So as you can see, you know, it's for every single type of weapon. Again, you're going to need multiple characters to get all of these, um, because not every class can equip every weapon. And last, well almost last, is the community tab, which you can get... Um, oh, that's nice. You can get one for the amount of influence you've earned. Um, mini pets, alpha set collection. Okay. Um, miniature zookeeper, <laughs> lovely title. Um, first Slayer, continuing a valiant battle against dehydration. Okay, so, okay, one shot, yeah. <clears throat> so, be an alky, basically. Or you can eat. Eat a lot of food. Teamwork kills. Okay, combos with an ally. Alright, oh, okay, so I suppose that's assists. Not really sure. Uh, no one left behind. This one is for um, helping teammates up from down status or dead status. And as you can see, I've done a hell of a lot of that. Uh, I was trying to get the Combat Healer achievement. I should have gotten it once I finished the first tier of this. But they seem to have changed it overnight, annoyingly enough. It used to be 100 you need to get to it, now it's bloody 500. Oh, well. I'm really looking forward to getting that achievement as well. Hump. Oh, well. All of Monuments. Right, this is disabled at the moment, however you get the idea. Five Guild Wars, one Monument Points will get to you your uh, title and whatever items that come with it on the web page for the Hall of Monuments and so on. Champion of the Gods, yeah. I'd like that. <coughs> I'd like that title. However, I'm not going to get it because I'm a lazy handbone and doing all that work in Guild Wars 1 while I'm sat here either playing the beta for Guild Wars 2 or waiting for Guild Wars 2 just is too frustrating. Um, so that's it for the achievements, um, they're very much similar to other games, however I like the including, including, uh, <coughs> I'll added uh, daily and monthly achievements, um, which kind of help keep you with a goal for a day I suppose, or the month, without the raids at least, for example, but I suppose raids are weekly, but you know. You know what I mean, you have a goal for the month and every day if you've, for instance, gotten to the highest level or something like that, or you're just kind of bored and you want something else to do, kind of handy. It's the same with the achievements actually. I find they elongate games rather well, depending on how annoying the achievements are. And none of these are particularly annoying, and none of them are particularly impossible to get on your own, unlike certain games. Um, so yeah. That's the achievements. I'll see you guys in the next and most likely final video, which will be the World of East World.